Hello guys, it's me Josh aka Facebook Mark3940 here again. Now that Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle is out, it's been out for quite a while, I decided to rank all three Jumanji movies from worst to the best. Yes, if you count Zathura, because it's part of the Jumanji universe, is a Jumanji movie. But if you don't count Zathura and just count the first one and then Welcome to the Jungle, that's fine, but I'm going to rank all three films from my least favorite to my favorite. I'm going to show the Rotten Tomatoes score, break down the critic consensus, the audience score, the average score, first Rotten thing, and then after each ranking of each movie, I will show a Stardust reaction that I made. So here we go. This is just... Before we get started, tell me your list in the comments down below. Let, which one is your favorite? Which one is your least favorite? Is it the first one? Is it Zathura? Is it Welcome to the Jungle? Let's have a friendly, open discussion about it. Let's be let's be clear. They, we're not going to agree on some of these, but this is my ranking. And if we agree, disagree, that's fine. So here we go. Here is the Stardust reaction. No, here is the Rotten Tomatoes score for the Jumanji movies. From Jumanji 1995, Zathura, A Space Adventure 2005, and Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle 2017. Let's get started. Coming to number three on Rotten Tomatoes list is Jumanji at 53%. With an average rating of 5.7 out of 10, 36 reviews counted, 19 are fresh, 17 are rotten, and 62% audiences like it. No critical consensus. At second place is the floor with 75% with 6.5 out of 10 with 159 reviews counted. 120 fresh, 39 are rotten, 51% audiences liked it, and the critic consensus is dazzling special effects for the kids and a well-crafted story telling for the rents, cinematic satisfaction for the whole family. Again, audiences were 51% who liked it. Now, at last place is Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle with 76 certified fresh. 6.1 out of 10, 189 reviews counted, 143 are fresh, 46 are rotten. Query Consensus says Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle uses a charming cast and humorous twist to offer an undemandingly yet solidly entertaining update on its source material with 88% average audience score of liking this movie coming in number three for me is zathura a space adventure now this is my least favorite of the ones but it's not actually a bad thing because with this jumanji is just like with harry potter i like all of them and with some franchise i like all of them were even the least favorite i like even though i got problems with it zathura I think this is a really great stance, spiritual successor to Jumanji. I really thought John Favreau did a really good job here with the story and with taking this board game, Zathura, and taking it from the haunt, this house and into outer space. And that was the interesting premise for me. I thought the two brothers, they really did great in their parts together. I thought Tim Robbins, he was really great in the movie as the dad. I hate Kristen Stewart as an actress after Snow White and the Huntsman. She, she, this was one of her good ones before she descended into Snow White and the Huntsman territory. But I do like this, the enjoyment of her. I do like the, I do like the whole aspect of this. I like the directing. I like the visual effects. The one flaw I will say I have with the movie is that I feel like it, in a couple of scenes, it, some of the effects are a little up, outdated, updated, outdated. But it was 2005, so I can give them credit. And also 2005, you also had other movies using special effects like Batman Begins and. Sin City and Sky High and Sharkboy and Lava Girl and of course you cannot forget Revenge of the Sith and Goblet of Fire. Those were the two big ones of 2005. But Zathura, 
A Space Adventure was a really fun time and is a really good movie. Zathura is a pretty awesome movie. I really liked it. John Favreau did a good job. Um, I liked the two brothers. I liked that the Zathura game is in space. This was when I used to like Kristen Stewart. Now I hate Kristen Stewart, but she she's good in this movie. And you have some entertaining value to it. So, it's pretty entertaining for the most part. Check it out. Coming in second place is Jumanji. Now, I was fighting which one would be number two, which one would be number one. And I was fighting with Jumanji, the first one be number one, and Welcome to the Jungle be number two. I was fighting put it while putting this list together. I was fighting because I like both of these movies equally for different reasons. But Jumanji comes in at number two. It is still awesome. It's still awesome. I still think it's great. Robin Williams was incredible in this movie. I love Bonnie Hunt and Kirsten Dunst in the movie. I love the performances here. I like this premise where you have this board game and they have to save Robin Williams who's been trapped there. These two kids. I like the aspects that Joe Johnson put into it. The effects, the CGI, and the design, and the concept was interesting. My only flaw here is that I feel like some of the CGI is a little, eh, but it's, it was 1995 and CGI was still getting there. So I'm not going to put too much pressure on the CGI because some of it still looks pretty darn impressive. And for the character stuff and the writing here, I think the writing was pretty solid. I like the, everyone did a great job. Robin Williams, rest in peace. You were awesome as Genie. You're awesome. You were awesome in this movie. You, even if it was one of your bad movies, you were awesome, awesome in it. We, we never had a friend like you. <laughs> you will be missed dearly. And the Aladdin remake is going to be... I'm, I'm hoping for that to be somewhat enjoyable. But as of now, I don't know where I stand with the Aladdin remake. I don't know where I stand on it. If I'm excited for it, if I'm not excited for it. It's kind of a 50-50 thing for me because I do have some hope. And then there's part of me that's like, yeah, this is going to be just as bad as Toy Story 3 next year. But you'll see me do my least anticipated in 2019 in September. Next month, I'll do my most anticipated. It'll probably be a live podcast. I don't know. But, yeah. It's coming. Or it might be this month. I don't know. We'll see what happens. The original Jumanji is a classic movie. Robin Williams, may he rest in peace, was great in here. I like Kirsten Dunst, Bonnie Hunt, and the rest of the cast in here. Some of the effects doesn't hold up. But it was 1995, so I can cut it some slack. But you do have an interesting premise, an interesting story arc, and I think this is a fun film for the kids. This and Welcome to the Jungle. And Zathura as well. Coming in my number one, and yes, this is an unpopular opinion, but Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Like I said when I talked about the first one in this ranking, this was tough to do because I liked both the first one and the second one that much. And this was hard. It was hard to put to put this. It was hard ranking this because it's only three movies, but I like this. But the part of the reason why I like this as much as I do that first Jumanji is because they decided to take this game, make from going to a board game and making it into a video game. And I really did like that. I liked that the, th the four kids, and they got to choose their avatars. Basically, the one guy is the nerdy one. One is the football jock. One is the quiet one. And one is the w girl who thinks she's all p the prettiest girl in high school, taking selfies every five minutes. Like, <laughs> you, you get my point. But also, when I love when they get transported into this game. And... They each become their avatars. Basically, the nerdy guy becomes the rock. The 
selfie one becomes Jack Black. The football job becomes Kevin Hart, and the choir one becomes Karen Gillan. And I'm just sitting there like, the and it and it makes for a pretty good time. We're all the I thought the cast really worked here. Jack Black was great. He was very funny here. He's playing a girl inside a man's body, but in a video game. I. Yeah, but it works. It does have. It worked, and I thought he really did his great job. Kevin Hart. I thought he was pretty funny here. Kevin Hart is a hit and a miss. There are moments where movies where he hits, and when he hits, he, you get this. But when he misses, you get stuff like Ride Along One and Ride Along Two. The Rock is always good. There's no shocker, and the standout in the movie to me, I thought was. Karen Gillan. This is the actress who's gone from playing this blue-headed chick in Guardians of the Galaxy, aka Nebula, which is a pretty underrated character. She's a pretty awesome character. And from going to playing this Tomb Raider-like killer of men. And I thought, but no, don't trust me guys, it's not a SJW thing. It's not there is also a reason why they explain the costume that she wears. So, it's not that costume that she wears is not pretty sexist. <clears throat> and then Karen Gillan, she was the standout. I thought she was funny. She had her awesome moments. And then when she's dance fucking, I was just sitting there laughing at it. You also got Nick Jonas in here. I thought he was really great. I do like the reference that they make to Robin Williams. I was like, I, when they made that reference, they made to Robin Williams. It's in one scene, but you have to watch. To watch, watch. It's later on in the movie. I can't tell you where it is unless you've seen the movie. But I said to myself, that is the best thing you could have done for 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 Robin Williams. It's not. Trust me. It's not going to be. It's not that insulting. You can't judge this movie. But just because, if it's not just because Robin Williams is not, and you have to be mind mindful. You have to be optimistic about it. Otherwise, you you just setting yourself up for disappointment. And a lot of people I've seen is basically saying this movie the movie is insulting. No, it's not. You can't judge something without watching it. The only reason I do it is because I know what's gonna happen. Venom, I know what's gonna happen with that movie. You're not people. You can have, you can you can disrespect me in the comments all you want about the Venom movie, but I know what it is. But I know how that movie's gonna turn out. Watch. I'm telling all of you guys, it's going to suck. It's gonna be a piece of crap. And when and when it bombs, don't come crying to me because I warned you. I warned y'all. But you can have your own opinions. If you decided for Venom, that's fine. I just, I'm just not. Even with Carnage, if you are to put Carnage in the movie, it's not. I'm still not gonna like the movie. Be because Sony, this is, it's the same company who disrespected Spider-Man in 2012, in 2014. I'm sorry to all you amazing Spider-Man fans, but the truth has to come out somehow. But anyways, Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. I think this was a pretty good good film. I can't wait to see the, the sequel coming out next year. And you got the cast members returning. And we get to see more of Karen Gillan's Ruby Rowhouse. House. So, woo! For me. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. Watched it again yesterday. I still like this movie. This movie was a surprise. I didn't expect it to be good. I like the chemistry with all the cast. The villain is a little lackluster, but I do like how they changed it up. I do like the scene where they mentioned Alan, and Karen and Gillen was the standout in this movie. She is freaking hot. Well, so guys, that was my ranking of the Jumanji films from worst to best. Look, tell me what your ranking of the Jumanji movies is down below. Is the first Jumanji your favorite? Is Welcome to the Jungle your least favorite? How would you rank it? Let's have an open, friendly conversation as always in the comments. Let's try not to be negative in those comments because, like as always, any negative comments will be removed. So, 
just be friendly about it. Be cool. Make sure be sure to follow to, to like subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Also, check out my letterbox. Also, I'm available on the Stardust app as Movie Geek 1998. And also, check out my official channel group, official Future Filmmaker 39480 official group I created. And also, check out my Facebook fan page for notifications on what's going to be coming up on the channel. And I also do stuff such as Woman Cross Wednesday, Throwback Thursday, Anticipation Friday, and Throwback Tuesday on, on there. So, yeah. That's pretty much. So, thanks for watching. You guys, keep it cool as always. I will see you in the next video. Take care.